Oh, I should. Hold on. Do, do, do. For all my buddies in the coalition streaming group. Do, 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 do. Oh, yo, I think this game took over my keyboard. Settings. Everything on Ultra. Alright, already digging the music. Do 14. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, hey, it's 60 hertz. There we go. Oh. Ooh. What is the what, what is what is this? Girl, what is with your selections here? Um, oh, there we go. Weird. I want the ult. I want all of the bloom, all of it. Let's give it a try. See what the hell we're getting into. I'll ambiently occult your face, Arcads. Thank you, Immorality. Dolos AEC European Spaceport, Norway, July 13th, 2049. Launch control, we have typing clearance for shuttle launch. Initiate Stanford protocol. Clear procedures, check. Shuttle EMV Sharon is now docked. Sector 1 empowered and pressurized. 
Munchie decontamination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon, property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and we'd like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden, the personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchie Protocol, I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated systems function efficiently. Okay. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, mining operations, manufacturing protocols, and Dolo's colonization tests. Okay, Ixion features different player views, the interior, exterior, and planetary system map. Okay, camera controls. Buildings are the core components of the station to help them fulfill the crew's needs. They also transform, store, and trans uh, transform, store, and transport the resources required to maintaining the uh, Tycoon data, uh, station. Okay. Buildings can be placed down as long as they do not overlap. Buildings can be rotated with R. They must be connected to a road. Your building has been placed. The construction process will begin. Cool. Even though you have only one sector available at the beginning, the Tycoon Station is divided into six different sectors. Sectors can, uh, contain the constructible areas of the station. Each sector is independent and separated by a gateway. Sectors can be accessed by panning the camera left or right. Okay. Each sector has a dedicated panel displaying information unique to that sector. Gain access to new sectors by manually overriding their lock elements. Whoa. Oh, oh. Okay. I feel like that's a spoiler. Like, why would we not have access to sectors? Um. Okay. Cool. Administrator, I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks personally. I'm Dolos' cryonics lead, Marduk Council Member Giovanni Batista. Hey, bud. So, let's see. Is he your eating? first objective do that. will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon, meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada, yada, yada. And then you'll come back. <laughs> now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of Coming resources, on. construction, balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos' focus on the Tycoon. 
but this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. Murder party! Okay, great. Fantastic. Um, am I supposed to have any idea what to do right now? Um. I guess I could connect these with roads. I don't really want to like veer off the... Oh. Oh, it's tiny. Build a workshop. Okay. Build a stockpile. Stockpile to alloy. Click on the alloy icon above a supply to collect the resources. Administrator, I have established. Oops. Did that pause it? It did. A connection with Dolus's lead data scientist, Emma Klein. Hi, Emma. Administrator, Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dolos's lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS, or data listening system, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden I... will then take care That's of everything not... via their DLS accreditation. As is often the case with tools produced by my department, I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munshi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of wool jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia, he believes that a wool jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. Like the second time they've made that Administrator, point. a new request awaits your attention. Resolve the event communal dining at the workshop in Sector 1. Icon crew members are currently unable to access food supplies. Neocon protocols direct the construction of a mess hall. Okay. It's a mess hall.
Oh, this is super cool so far. Yeah, completely. I'm digging this. It hasn't really started yet, though. I think this is still the tutorial. Like... Build a second stockpile. Can I even build roads here? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. There we go. Set the stockpile to store food. Administrator. I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council Member Henry Bargeville. Okay. Oru, Administrator. What a wonderful day to embrace your face. Thanks for the co chat. I am Henri Bargeville, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Oshanabi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangites. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashtangites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Oshanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. What? I know these words, but not in that order. But what is... what? All right, construct a cargo ship. Okay. Wait, do I need to build another? I think I need to build another one of these. What is it you need for this? The polymers? Polymers. Look at those. I'm guessing as I bring them in there, they'll bring them up to the top, right? Yep, just like that. Perfect. Okay. TM says, Ko, you can do it. Save us all. Yeah, no. 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 Order the cargo ship to retrieve food via the fleet management event.
are we gonna see him like fly away? Yeah, one of my storages is full. the moon event on the planetary system map. Summary of intelligence on the abandoned base. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and can be used to restore power. Waiting for science ship. Is it... Is it going there? How do I... Oh wait, do I have to go to fleet management? Oh. Science ship has arrived at its destination. You've reached the UN base. It's abandoned and depressurized. The surveillance system is still operational. Exploit security vulnerability. A science ship team has completed a task. We hacked into the main computer system as you ordered and retrieved several relevant research papers and data sets. We just hack the UN? Dismantle the base. That seems not great. <laughs> Why? Why are we hacking the planet? Okay. I mean, I'm all about hacking the planet. I'm cool with it. A science ship team has completed a task. Ready for extraction. Collecting science! <laughs> Build the tech lab. Love how I'm doing all this stuff. Oh, Jesus. Like, I haven't even built homes for my dudes yet. I'm a monster. Um, what do I want this thing? This thing is big. Ooh, you a big girl. Um, it's over over here but I, I don't want to block this stuff man this stuff looks important
You can actually see this stuff piling up in the base. Dig it. I'm not too worried about this stuff right now. I'm guessing I'm guessing this is all tutorial stuff, so I'm I'm not worried too much about it. I mean my base my base is messy right now. It's messy. Not gonna lie, it's messy. I'm a base builder, I don't like this. But I'm making do. Wait, wait, wait. He missed the event that told him to build homes? What do you mean I missed? What? I I missed anything. How'd I, how'd I miss that? Events are timed? Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Tolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Madur Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today, so I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you're equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. I think that's fair. The tech tree. Where is the tech tree? No. Oh. Wow, and each one has upgrades. 